Oh, bad guys in the show. You're a bad guy. Yeah, like I can see bad look in your face. <laughs> <laughs> More fucking bad. More fucking bad. More fucking bad. More fucking bad. More when I see your bum bum, bum picking must come. Who do you think Mobad and Bella Shimorde is talking to? I know, I know. Why are you shouting? Why are you shouting? Shut up. And do not disturb. I'm a fire, I'm a green. I'm a fire. 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 I'm a Hi guys, it's Ozzy here again as usual and in this video we are going to be taking a look at Mobat's happy moments with his family and his friends. So don't forget to like and subscribe while you keep watching. If you are very observant, you would have noticed that Mobat seemed to have had quite a number of friends because he's usually seen in the midst of a lot of people. I don't know why it's like that but I honestly think he loved to be in the company of other people especially since he felt like his life was being threatened. Maybe he thought if he's in the midst of others then maybe he wouldn't come to any harm. We use your voice to stick the best voice on that. That was in the the lady I seen him with in this video, her name is Nelly Baradi and she's the backup singer you usually hear in a lot of his music. And they're very close, in fact they are friends actually and she is also an artist. A lot of people confuse this lady for his wife, I think because they have, it's almost the same look and stature but she is not his wife, they're just friends. And yes, like Mubad said, she really has a nice voice because if you usually listen to his music, you see that female background that is usually sounding. You see how nice it usually gives his song these added vibes. She is also talented as an artist and I really don't know why people like this don't get recognition in this country. Look at love and superstars Every time we run in this Remember we were jacking cars Never think it Cause it's not safe for you Cause you snitch like a pussy little bitch Try to hold me to keep That's all from the bitch When I slide I say, it's crazy. I say, I say, but you're feeling good, man. You're feeling very good.
guy is the childhood friend of Mubad whom we have been hearing about since his death and all this whole thing started. His name is Prime Boy and apparently he and Mubad have known each other for quite a long time as you can see from these pictures that are being shown in this video right now. <music> This video was taken at the naming ceremony of Mubad's son. As you can see, everybody was quite happy that he just had a son. And I'm actually happy that he had people who were there to support him and celebrate with him because it's actually not easy seeing that he was going through a lot. This is his wife in the same naming ceremony. You know, everybody's happy now because, of course, it's a naming ceremony. It's obvious that he actually loved his wife and the many things were looking like they're about to become better, he just died all of a sudden. It's not easy in this 21st century to actually see a young artist who is not even up to 30 having a child in marriage. Most of them just like to keep baby mamas. Here are more videos of <laughs> Mr. Biggs. Mr. Moo. It's quite obvious that his wife was his peace and his, you know, where he finds his solace. And I wonder how she'll be feeling by now, considering the fact that a lot of us who are not even related to them are feeling very, very sad right now. And it's even been over a month and we're still feeling like this. So, how is his wife currently feeling this moment? It's really so sad. All we can do at this moment is to pray for her and his young son. We hope that they will live fine. And by now, everybody already knows that Bella Shmoda was one true loyal friend to Mubad. Like, he was there with Mubad and in most of the videos you see them together, Bella Shmoda is always trying to cheer him up. And I think they vibe well together. They understand each other very well. Bella is one of those friends who was so loyal to the extent that even when Mubad was so was alive and complaining that he was being bullied, Bella was one of the people who even did interviews confirming that Mubad was being bullied and he doesn't like it. In a particular time where people were feeling Mubad must be high on drugs, Mubad doesn't know what he's saying. This friend also is another friend of Mubad that seems so loyal. This person's name is Lifestyle, he's a dancer. This guy is also one person that stood up for Mubad and he also recently, you know, came out through an anonymous blog saying the things that happened. And he's actually saying that his life currently is at risk. In fact, at this point, he is complaining the same way Mubad did when he was alive. He's saying that right now he feels like because some of the videos he released are some of the things the police is using as evidence, he feels like those who believe Mubad are also planning to come after him. <laughs>
you are very observant in this video this is one of the very few videos Mubad was quite sad and it seems like he had a lot in his mind he just wasn't catching the vibe at all because he was going through a lot <laughs> I wish you greatness, more life, more blessings, more goodness, more heat, more heat, more heat, more heat, more heat. I'm a lot of what you want to go, what you want to go. I love, 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 May your days be long in peace, bro. Amen. More greatness. Amen. Bad days are gone. Amen. More life, my bro. This was his birthday this year, and as you could see, he was not happy at all. In fact, they said he was even crying. A lot of people were like, it's like he knew he was going to die because his demeanor, his everything about him was just so sad. And even when his friends were trying to cheer him up based on the fact that it's his birthday, he just wasn't happy at all. And a lot of people believe that when someone is about to die, they can usually sense it. And to a very large extent, it's true because I think that might have been one of the things that actually happened to Mubad. He might have been sensing that he would die soon. Even from his music and everything, you can just tell that this guy does not feel like he will live very long. His wife even said it after he died that he was so scared. In fact, he became more scared even when he had a son because he now felt that he needs to protect his family so that they will not also become a target just like he felt he was already a target. Anyway, do you guys think that he could sense his death was near? Drop a comment below.